Upon the walls of the sturdy building, there is a single word written in crude lettering. Help. Gazing at the writing, all the color drains from Legol's face, and he looks ready to make a run for it. You reach out a hand to comfort him, but as you do, you spot a scrap of paper at his feet with what looks like a drawing on it. Having given the village a once-over, you decide to return to the inn ruin for the time being and review what you've learned. However, you don't have a clear picture of what happened here. Absent any other ideas, you take the scraps of paper you found during your search and lay them out on top of a desk. Looking at the images on the scraps, Polka realizes that they must have originally formed a single page. together. the reverie. A something black as midnight assails the party. You reach for your weapon, ready to fend off a monster. But when you take a look... The goal's upbraiding brings you back to the moment, and you grip your weapon tight, ready to fight.
The monster-like thing's attacks are ferocious. But darkness come to life. It steadily wears you down. Trollis seems to be feeling the same unease you are in regards to the creature. You've managed to defeat the creature, and hold a card aloft to seal it. It doesn't seem to work, though. Maybe this really isn't a monster after all. A little troublesome having to deal with all these unknown foes, isn't it? exclaims Polka. The four of you decide to run for it. But when you turn, you find Steelboro soldiers blocking your path, trapping you. Perhaps they're in pursuit of those responsible for killing everyone in the Senate. The goal clicks his tongue. The group decides that it would be better to take on the soldiers than to challenge the black creatures. However... The Steelboro soldiers ignore you and start to fight with the creatures. The thought of just running for it crosses your mind. But the soldiers are still people. You can't just leave them to die. This isn't the moment to be indulging your curiosity. Hurry and help the soldiers. The soldiers don't wait for your help and manage to bring down the shadowy creatures. Polka shouts his appreciation to the soldiers. Thank you so much. They turn to look at you and Polka, and with a nod, they attack you this time.
You manage to defeat the Steelboro soldiers. You question one of them, asking how many of them are pursuing you. In the next instant, the soldier is back on its feet and rushing at you. Lagol turns to you. We shouldn't linger here. Abiding his suggestion, you decide to hurry away from the place. 